What's up everybody? Welcome to Do It Justice. Today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my absolute favorite topics. But seriously, I love talking finances. So today I'm going to answer one of the most common questions we get out on the road. How much did this off-grid tiny home on wheels actually cost us? So you're probably wondering, what's going into the overall cost calculation? That's an awesome question. It's going to include the RV itself, the tires, the mechanical work, the solar system, and all of the RV renovations. Also, I feel like it's a good time to mention, if you haven't already done so, make sure to check out our complete RV renovation series here. Now I'm going to take you guys outside and throw some numbers your way. We were able to pick up this handsome fella out of Kansas City for $4,000. And one of the first things we had to do to the RV was upgrade the tires. Even though the original tires looked amazing, we knew they were 12 years old and anything after about seven or eight years probably needs to be replaced. So we got six brand new tires for the actual RV and a spare in the back and we're really happy with what we got. For seven tires and installation, it cost us a whopping thousand dollars. So we also had some mechanical costs that we weren't able to show you on the RV renovation series. The reason was is we didn't do those ourselves. We hired that out to mechanics and technicians. What that included was we had brand new front and rear brakes. We had brand new spark plugs, spark plug wires, alternator, battery, a complete engine flush, and also we had them check over the engine. All of that cost us about $2,400. One of the very last things we had done to the RV right before we hit the road was we actually had a technician look over the propane system. We decided that we weren't comfortable enough with propane to actually look at it ourselves, so we had them replace a couple hoses, a few valves, and about $650 later, we were all good to go. One of our absolute favorite parts about this RV is our 600 watt off-grid solar power system. This entire system with installation only cost us $2,640. I know, crazy, right? There's a lot involved with it as far as the components go, so I'm gonna break that down for you right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shift gears now, no pun intended. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the renovation costs. So while I'm up here on the roof, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about the exterior renovations. So we had to start out with getting three new roof vents, a brand new AC shroud, and along with all that stuff came a ton of sealant and a lot of butyl tape as well. So all of those costs together cost us just about $500. Okay, I think that covers the exterior. I know you guys are dying to know how much the interior renovations cost. You want to know how much it cost us to transform the water damaged RV we had into the beautiful adventure mobile we call home. The total interior renovation costs was $1,000. $550. That covers a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of things involved with that and just all small stuff. But there's a few major things that I want to touch upon that I think is going to be really important for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing all of the itemized stuff, make sure to check out the video description below. That number would have been so much higher had we not done the work ourselves and had we not used recycled building materials. All the reconstruction material to build the walls, the overcab, and the ceiling cost us $250. That includes the hardware, the pallets, everything that we did to reconstruct the RV. Something that was essential for our off-grid system was our composting toilet. If you go out and buy a pre-manufactured one, those things can run you up to $1,100. One of the areas we decided to spend more money in was in products that created a safe environment for us to live in. That included non-toxic paint and sealants. As you can imagine, a renovation like this, taking this long, has a lot of costs involved. So just to play it safe, we're going to round up to the nearest thousand so that we cover any costs that we forgot to mention today. That brings the grand total of this entire project from start to finish to $13,000. Wow, we seriously can't believe we got our very first home and a truck to pull it for just $13,000. If you're interested in getting more insight into our life on the road, including behind the scenes footage and some awesome do it justice gear like stickers and t-shirts, make sure to check out our Patreon link right here. Thank you so much for watching and as always, we'll see you on the next video. So did, ah! 
Okay. Wow. We seriously can't believe. <laughs> wow.